My own journey of my own career begins uh, several years ago when I do remember when I had to make my own career choice. And uh, I remember this one moment where it was just me and my uncle and my mom. And in one moment, um, after many discussions, my uncle had to just make this deep sigh. And, at all, at one, and what he finally said was, you know what you should do, Martha? You should take a career as a teacher because um, if you become a teacher, if you study education and become a teacher, you'll never lack a job. And back then it was a bit disappointing because I was never brought up to be a teacher. I was brought up to be a doctor, I don't know, a nurse, and a scientist, a lawyer, and all those other careers that are very common. Uh, but fast track, several years later, it would be, um, it's quite shocking that I'm now creating learning experiences for people across the world to really lead transformational journeys. And that moment uh, is part of my inspiration behind Career Hub. And other things that have shaped my, my journey and my experience in this space have been in the last 10 years, I've spent a lot of time in leadership development, career development, and extensively on recruitment. Uh, recruiting for all types of jobs from uh, Chile to Japan. And I have been lucky to interact with professionals from every corner of the world. And these experiences have really exposed me to the challenges that not only young people, but also senior professionals face when it comes to making career decisions, thinking about where to start uh, when you graduate from university thinking about what to study in the first place, um, thinking about how to transition from one career or from one industry to another, thinking about how to uh, make use of your talents and gifts that you have that are not in the traditional space accepted um, in the job market. And um, this, again, is part of the inspirations behind Career Hub. And I'll talk about Career Hub, which is a pivot project from another program that we run that is also about career acceleration. So for the last two years, um, we've worked with several professionals, um, helping them transition from one stage of their career to another. And as most of these were in their senior levels of their careers. And at some point we ask ourselves, how are we going to serve the much more junior professionals in a much more powerful way that takes into effect um, the issues around the future of work and how the world of work is changing and the opportunities that this new world of work is creating. And so uh, fast track, at least I think a year, uh, a year so far now, we've been able to work with several young people. I think in the last one year, uh, we worked with about 150 direct individuals and our content has reached at least 2,500 and maybe above uh, professionals, um, really helping people think about in a very practical, simple, youth-friendly manner how to approach their careers. Um, so Career Hub is obviously a lot has changed in the last uh, couple of months with the context of our new world that is taking shape right now. But the vision hasn't really changed. What we are asking ourselves is how do we bring all these experiences, understanding the education space, understanding the recruiting space and what organizations really need. And at the same time, our expertise of understanding professionals into a space where we can guide people um, to make much more conscious career decisions, to um, have access and information to opportunities that can help them improve their livelihoods and um, spend their time doing things that they love. And that said, there are a couple of features that make our program a little bit unique. One of the key factors is that we are really focused on mindsets because one of the things that we've seen um, in the last years, uh, myself and my team, is that even if you teach the core skills about how to navigate the job market, interviews and all those type of things, without really touching the key critical fundamental skills around how do I adapt if I'm not getting the right job? How do I think much more creatively about my approach to finding jobs? Then it becomes really um, challenging to overcome some of the challenges that you face during 
your, the early years of your career. So one of the key factors is the mindsets. And then the other thing we are thinking about is if we are to reach 10,000, 20,000 people uh, in the next one or two years, how do we do that creatively tapping into technology? And um, my team and I are very passionate and we have accumulated a lot of knowledge in the last few years. And we are thinking about how do we tap into technology, into artificial intelligence to really scale and to ensure that that information reaches as many young people as possible, whether it's universities or with other youth employability programs or in high schools, wherever it is um, that they need to learn, but using very practical, youth-friendly approaches. We also do really appreciate the aspect of mentoring. I know there are many mentoring projects that are out there. I think what really makes ours unique is that we are looking at building the senior, building our mentoring program from our senior professionals program. So this will be people that are actually like-minded in terms of thinking intentionally about their careers, tapping into their gifts, challenging themselves to get to the next level. And this will build such a powerful community for young people that they can look up to. And finally, is that with this whole future world of work, there are, a lot of, there are still so many opportunities that young people can tap into, especially virtually. However, our, a lot of times when we interact with young people, we realize that they are still approaching the traditional ways of looking for jobs. They still think, okay, I have to go to a specific website and that's where all the jobs are advertised. But there are so many immense opportunities, virtual work, freelancing, tapping into your skills to make some sort of like revenue maybe by becoming an entrepreneur so we are really creating that space where we can guide and mentor young people to be able to tap into that whether they end up using their talents and gifts to generate income for them and for themselves and their families or whether they use skills that they would normally not tap into to really succeed in finding jobs virtually then um, that would still be opportunities that will help them get to the next level. So thinking beyond our current um, approach to finding opportunities is also something that we will be focusing on in our program.